Hi and welcome to Teach Start and today we're going to be talking about the importance of a daily quiz. So this is kind of like a pretty obvious kind of video but yet when I observe teachers I don't see it that often. I do see it but I don't see it that often. Um, one of the concerns teachers have is that when they have a lesson say on the Monday and they have a lesson on the Tuesday by the Wednesday students start forgetting what was said in Monday and Tuesday's lesson and there's a kind of half-life on memory and the longer obviously you go the less the less you remember of the previous lessons and so it's, it almost feels kind of pointless that as a teacher you're you're getting everyone to understand something one day and then they're just completely forgetting it by the next lesson and the lesson after and by the exam they've had it and that's kind of true and kind of not true skills are learned uh, for a lot longer than knowledge like skills about how to do it um, linger on and that's why revision is so important because revision is just um, understanding the skills again really quickly but then just getting the knowledge and attaching it to the skills um, it's kind of like riding a bike you never forget how to ride a bike but if you haven't done it for 10 years you need a little bit of time just to just to get in the swing of things again and you're not going to be as confident as the next day to when you've previously cycled. Um, and it's sort of the same with knowledge. Now, there's loads and loads of, of things I'm going to suggest in this video to retain that knowledge. But today's um, video is just a really simple idea of having a quiz at the start of each lesson on uh, a question on the previous lesson, a question on a lesson last week, a question on the previous topic, like have an idea about where the questions are coming from and make them kind of short term, medium term and long term and just keep the habit. Make sure every lesson you have has a five minute quiz and don't have like, um, don't put too much pressure on it. Uh, just make sure that you keep the questions, um, try and get as few questions as you can, maybe five questions maximum. Um, and make them really decent questions that, that cover a kind of big chunk of, of content or a very specific question that covers a very narrow part of the topic. Just things that you think are going to be important for the student to remember or things that they previously haven't remembered. So you've done 80% of the lesson, oh, they'll remember that, but that last 20% they never remember. Okay, so that last 20% will go on that quiz and maybe the quiz the next day. Um, the important thing is to go through the answers and so the quiz is a kind of interesting kind of uh, interactive way of getting the students to show off that they did remember and as a teacher it's nice to see what they do and they don't remember um, but the important part of it is to go through the answers and spend probably more time going through the answers maybe three or four minutes going through the answers and maybe only a minute or two for the test so keep it as short as possible um, and it just rehearses the knowledge it gets them on the bike just a little bit, just for a minute or so each day so that they, when they sit down to revise, they're not having to revise everything and, and learn everything for the first time or it feels like for the first time. It's, it's kind of a natural kind of graph like this, a nice smooth graph rather than a flat graph and suddenly loads of revision. And I think it's really useful for you as a teacher to build confidence that they did understand that, that you did your job the previous lesson or or maybe a kind of eye opener oh wow they didn't really understand this at all like if no one understands the topic um then that kind of is a bit of an eye opener about how that lesson went because you might walk home and go or, or drive home and go hmm that was a really good lesson and then get put it on the quiz the next day and they just have no idea what that part of the topic is and so you look at that lesson and go oh hang on that wasn't a good lesson at all and it ticks all the boxes having a quiz, like you're, as a teacher, supposed to be kind of following a nice um, whole curriculum rather than bits and chopping up into bits. It should it should be a nice smooth curriculum which everything builds on everything else and the students can see a progression in, the, in your curriculum, in, in your plan uh, for them in the year and the three years and the five years, you know. Um, so just it's a simple idea and um, I would suggest you get in a routine that it's it's five questions at the start of each lesson. Um, I've seen teachers hand out hand, uh, hand out worksheets on the way in for them to do and then they go through them. I've seen um, booklets made for the year so teachers who are really really kind of at, on it will know when they're doing topics and know when they'll come up in the quiz. 
Um, I've seen teachers just put the PowerPoint up and as soon as the students come in and get their books, they sit down and get going straight away. And it's a really good start to the lesson um, because whilst some teachers don't use that time, which I think is not good at all and just let the students misbehave, um, you get the students in doing something straight away um, so you don't lose their engagement. And then you can start the lesson proper after you've gone through the, the um, questions, the uh, answers to the questions. But it's a really simple idea that I think works really, really well. So if you haven't done it or if you don't do it currently, really have a think about whether it would improve your lessons because I can tell you now it almost certainly will. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please click like. But also, please keep the comments coming in. Um, I do get comments, but very, very occasionally. And I'm really, really keen to do stuff that you want me to do uh, and things that you want me to cover and just um, answers to questions that you come up with. So please keep those comments coming in. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at five o'clock in the evening. Thank you.